Hello, play A here, Mr. G, and in this video we are going to be looking to reflection of light. However, before we go there, let's quickly record certain things we did before. The first one is the dispersion of light. Dispersion of light. Now, remember, dispersions of light happen when white light get broken into its different color. So when light is dispersed means that split white light white light and split split into different colors. different colors. White light get split or broken into different colors. Different colors. Now let's quickly list those colors. Those colors are red, red, we have orange, we have yellow, We have green, we have blue, we have indigo, and we have violet. Right? Now, those are all the colors of the spectrum, all the colors that together make up white light. All this one get dispersed and white light get broken into different colors. Those are the colors. Now, these colors are already here arranged according to increasing frequency. So, these ones here have low frequency. Let's write that word a little bit better. It has low frequency. So, the more you're moving towards the violet, will have a greater frequency. So this one will have a higher frequency. Higher frequency. Let's write frequency here. We're talking about frequency, so you don't get uh, confused. Lower frequency, and here is higher frequency. All right, so the red half a lower frequency than orange, orange will have lower frequency than yellow, and so on. All right, or violet, for instance, have greater frequency than indigo. So you must learn this one because in the question they may ask you to arrange the different colors. Okay, now here on this side, the one that have the lower frequency will have the shorter wavelength. This one will have the shorter wavelengths here. So, here on this side, you can see that the lower the frequency, the higher or the longer the wavelength. The higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. Remember, red is obvious. The shortest, the, uh, the lowest uh, frequency will have the longest wavelength. However, red compared to orange is now, let's say, longer wavelength than orange. It's a um, lower frequency than orange and so on. You must be able to see the difference between frequency and wavelengths. You must be able to organize those different colors according to either increasing a frequency or decreasing wavelengths or so on. Okay, so please look at that. With this one, we're going to be using it in um, reflection. That is why we mention it here. Now, then what we learn. Now, we learn that light can reflect of the object. So it can reflect of the object. And we're going to go to this one in a little bit more details. Second, light, when shine on an object, it can be absorbed. It can be absorbed all 
okay or three it can be transmitted and we are going to see this one also um, when we talk now the first one it can be reflected on object that means it bounces back here it can be reflect of the object which mean the light is being reflected okay it can be reflected of an object now that means that light light bounces back this is why we can see objects light go to the object it is reflected on the object and then we can see the object okay now we also learn that light can be absorbed here we can say that light is being absorbed that means that travel into the object is go inside the object the object less use our own word the object eat that light okay so that is absorbed and then remember when absorptions happen a shadow forms this will form shadows okay this will form a um, shadow that is when light is being um, absorbed because light cannot pass on the other side of the object so if light is being absorbed it forms shadow but if light is being reflected it also forms shadows okay we're going to see that one uh, just now and transmitted the light is uh, when we're speaking about transmission of light we say that when light is being transmitted we say that light travel through the object it passed through the object so these are the three things we learned already in one of the videos light can be reflected light can be absorbed or light can be transmitted now here here in this video we are going to be focusing on this one okay which is reflection so we're going to be focusing on reflection on reflection of light so let's go now to speak about reflection so now what we said the light can be reflect of the object it means that light bounces back from the object so le let's see a simple scenario here we have so let's say we have here a torch a light bulb which obvious is giving off light it is a luminous object okay this is a light bulb here so let's write it down here this is a light bulb and is a luminous object remember that one eh? now we have here at the bottom a mirror and a mirror is not luminous object it does not give off light you cannot light the room if it's very dark with a mirror mirrors only reflect light now let's say that the rate of light remember there's many rate of light but one we're going to take one rate of light and that one is going to come all the way from the light bulb to the mirror like it is represented here one um, rate of light is coming straight into the mirror this rate of light that is coming to the mirror that is going to strike the mirror is going to be called incident incident ray so this is called incident ray that is the rate of light that is coming straight to the mirror or straight to any other surface now right at the point when that ray touches the mirror right there with the um, rate of light touches the mirror we are going to draw a perpendicular line and set perpendicular remember it must be 90 degree to the surface this means perpendicular this must be 90 degree okay that means perpendicular so that is going to be called normal and it must be perpendicular to the surface okay so this one here is called normal line this is the normal that is the name of that line and that line i'm going to write it here is perpendicular
perpendicular to surface. In this case, the surface is the in this case, the surface is the mirror. Okay. Now there is a law here that you will learn in details in further grades, but this law is very very easy. And the four we're going to mention anyway. This angle that is formed here between the uh, incident rate between the incident rate and the normal must be equal to the angle of the rate of line that is going to leave the mirror. So now what is happening? This rate of light that is coming to the mirror is going to bounce back from the mirror all the way back. This is all the way back. This is what we call reflected ray. This is reflected ray. And as we said before, these angles here, which I'm going to call theta r or theta i, must be equal to this other angle here, which is going to be called theta r. Okay, so that is the rule. Okay, so let's go to this picture again. We have a um, light bulb. That light bulb is a luminous object and therefore it's going to give off light. All right. Now, the rate of light that is coming towards the mirror, in this case it's a mirror, guys, but it could be any object that reflects light. Okay. Clear water, for instance, or a piece of glass. It doesn't need to be a mirror. Okay. Now, this light that is going into the mirror, that is going to touch the mirror, is going to be called incident ray. Okay, now the angle that is between the normal, this is the normal. The normal is a perpendicular line with the surface. Okay, this is the normal. And then there must be an equal angle between the rate of incident and the rate that is coming out, which is called reflected rate. This one is not uh, difficult, it is very easy and it is very very important. There are different type of reflection. Okay, there are different type of reflection. Reflection can be diffuse or it can be regular. Let's look at that as well, real fast. Okay, so let's look here quickly. Reflection. We have two different type of reflection. Reflection can be diffuse or it can be regular. Now, the type of reflection will depend on the surface. If the surface is rough, then, then the um, reflection will be diffuse. So, rough surface will lead to a diffuse reflection. If the surface is smooth, like the mirror, then the reflection is going to be regular. So, this is important to know when reflection is going to be diffuse and when reflection is going to be regular. So diffuse reflection is going to happen when the surface is rough. Regular reflection will happen when the surface is smooth. So this is about reflection. There is a little thing that you need to know, but maybe we can mention it next time. This video is already going long and I don't want to make long videos. But thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Please, you can write messages, you can suggest, you can ask a questions. Um, up until next time, next time I'm going to try to do, if possible, an experiment so you can see reflection, a very, very, maybe one minute experiment or so. Thanks a lot for watching. Up until next time.